welcome to the video. I want to briefly mention that in 2021, I began vlogging my journey with my Jeep and other various parts of my life. So I had an idea for storage and sleeping space, and I asked my dad if he could build it for me. So this video is of course going to show that it was designed to be removed if needed. This is not a permanent setup, but it is a setup that I have used for the last two years and I wanted to pretty much go over it with you guys. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Oh, this yes. is what we did to use it. Yeah. Let me just get a basic thing out of here. What's the matter? Right handed? <laughs> yeah. Kind of sketchy. Hell yeah. Next. <laughs> Well, we'll keep that line straight, I think. Well, I figure you'll just need this curve right here, you know? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. There we go. Secret duel. I got to get some measure on here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one there. Right on the mark. Where? Yeah, oh, okay. I was gonna say I think triangle is what you're talking about, but I don't it's, know. It's the call square. Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want your tool? No, I just need to do this. So. Okay. Oh, that's right. You just need to know how far out to go and then just go straight. Forgot you said that. <laughs> well, tennis is from this mark right here. So it's. So, not quite long enough. <laughs> Squares. Another square that's L. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Basically, we just want to wrap it around like that. And just remember, it's kind of straight and then cornered, so you might actually have to take that out a little bit. Actually, here, hold this. 
get you. Just hold it, it's fine. Comes out and is more like this. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Like pretty, pretty damn sure. All right, well, we'll try that. We'll try your way. Okay, no Nice. So we need to erase this line? Yeah. Because like it comes out and curves, but it's kind of like a, it curves in a oh, straight, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, of course, make it a lot curvier and straighter. I won't judge you too much if you make a mess in my car. I'll just vacuum it. So basically like that. Yeah, not bad. And we still need to make a half inch piece to go underneath this. Yeah. Yep, yep. And there's space in there. And we also get a clean the measurement. Go ahead and get a measurement here. Okay. The smallest strips ever cut. <clears throat> is this the which way is it? Is this Other way. Well, this is the top. Yeah. yeah. That's so the lefty. We want this right there. Right glued on right in here. So we'll get some glue. Woo! All right, this is kind of what we're looking at right now. This piece and this piece are attached. This piece is not attached, but we're working on it. We need something to kind of help with this gap. We'll get it though. Where'd you put it? Right Finishing touches. Finishing touches. Finishing touches. Is this the bottom of the Jeep's not level? Yeah. Well, of course not. So I put a mark on this side so I know where to go. Mm.
Whoa. Ledge. Okay. Just your legs. Yep, adjust my legs. Ooh. On a wall of bed. <laughs> What'd you say? I said walla walla bed. Walla walla bed. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, gee, thanks, Dad. You messed up my light. <laughs> oh. You're okay. <laughs> it just turns off for me, so I can't see it, even though it's still going. Oh, it just cracks me up because I'm like, what the fuck? Only slight modification. These pieces are not the exact same. This one had to be grooved down a little bit to fit this part of the Jeep. So, now it fits perfectly. All right, so this is about April of 2024. We've had our Jeep now for quite a long time, almost two years, I would expect. I just wanted to show you guys how everything's working out. First and foremost, I have so many things just kind of crammed in here, blankets, cat things. Um, I have my toolkit, blah, 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 blah. Now, the reason why that's down here in that particular section is because we're going to be building a metal container on the top for those things not for the cat stuff but for the for the straps like here are some straps there have been um, a great many uh, trees that have fallen and by the way I should probably mention since dad snapped my last wench I have successfully managed to use this one uh, very well <laughs> a few times actually as weird as that sounds even once by myself I uh, kind of ran my Jeep off the road a little bit over here. So you see that yellow scaffolding? I know it's not really going to show very well, but yeah, the yellow scaffolding, I, I kind of ran into it and got my Jeep stuck at a 45. And there's a very big bush right there. That bush, my grandfather couldn't get it out with a tractor when it was smaller. So that bush, I know for a fact, unlike these ones over here, despite them sticking out, uh, those would probably come out. That bush does not move. It has never moved for 20 years. So I chose that bush to winch myself out with and it worked perfectly. Oh, although I will admit it did kind of scratch the Jeep a little. So here's a nice yellow scratch. That's, that's from that. That goes all the way along the line. If I did not have this bar, it would have destroyed it. Um, my poor mirror would have been ripped off, but thankfully this little bugger does like bend and go in and kind of really hug my Jeep. So that's kind of the, the good part about that. You can tell after time, my stickers, this is from snow. The snow has melted and the stickers have kind of eek, moved. So it's great, but this is, this is how it has turned out after all this time. But um, I do want to mention that, of course, like having this stuff in here, I would prefer to have it up here. That is one of the biggest problems I have. I'll get you guys in here though. This is still pretty nice. Um, I still have some cat stuff and boxes in here. I don't even know what exactly is in here, but I gotta, I gotta get it out. <laughs> but um, yeah, here is my mattress. I have it folded up so that, oops, excuse me, so that um, I still have this extra space in the back. This extra space in the back is mostly where I put all of my uh, like boxes or, or travel anything. And then the cats generally get this, this area. So they have been pretty good. I've got my net mesh here. This goes all the way to the ground, but, or not the ground, but the, it goes all the way to the very, very bottom. 
um, where it has tied in. This is meant to be like for, for dogs, but um, I needed something that went all the way up. That was my complaint. Now, although this doesn't go all the way and there's still room here, I kind of pack pillows and uh, blankets and other things in these spots so the cats can't get through. They're also very used to this space by now and that's a relief, uh, but they still hate, 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 hate going on a trip. Every time they know they're about to get the Jeep, they get pretty upset, <laughs> but they, they handle it pretty well. So if anyone's curious, my light uh, has a problem. It never goes off and by never, I mean like never. So I have wrapped it and that's, that's what that is. So don't panic, but uh, it used to drive me crazy. Uh, if I had to drive at night, so, and I very rarely drive at night. Um, underneath all of this though, I do have extra things, extra blankets for emergencies. There's also a, a little playpen in here. God forbid I need to go to my mother's or somewhere where uh, cats aren't, well, not that they're not allowed to run around, but my mom would prefer that they don't. And you can see by all the dust and dirt in here, I have my... I think it's like a, a like a jigsaw, I suppose. I have my chainsaw, the straps. It's as dirty as hell. I actually generally have a, a a shovel right here, but it's not here at the moment. I've got all kinds of other goodies, batteries and jacks and all. <laughs> Everything car related. All this stuff that unfortunately is taking up all of this section space and I want it on the top. This section, of course, is all by itself. It's my only other section that I can store anything. You know, let's move on. From this side, you can see the, the extra space. There are more blankets. I keep my sleeping bag. There's more um, items, I suppose, that I've kept in boxes to kind of keep everything kind of nice. I don't need this water bottle. Why is this here? Anyway, so there are several compartment spots to put things. There's also extra space on the sides right here. Um, like you could tell, here is my raincoat. I do keep certain things in here. I keep a raincoat in here. I keep a sweatshirt in here. I keep a lot of things that uh, people probably wouldn't consider. So the container itself, um, after all this time, all this use, uh, hold on. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I keep, ah, oh, this is not very good. Here we go. I keep a little, um, oh, what would you call this? It's for groceries. Anyways, I keep like grocery bags. I keep another sweater in here. Um, but having used this whole space, um, we built right on top of where everything kind of was already sitting so that it wouldn't cause problems. Let me come back over here. I should have told you this to begin with. So I have important things, TP, survival kit, come on. Oh, is that a bee buzzing around that's being a butt? Anyway, um, so I do carry important supplies in my corners, but just to specify over in this corner here, I keep my kitty leashes over here too. There's kind of like a pocket right here. Uh, that was there when we first built it, but everything that you see, uh, this is, Oh, I really need this up here. Okay. This is built directly on top of the window um, lip, this lip, whatever, whatever you would call that. So considering we've got that extra space, we just shove this corner. I love Super Disco. Uh, I just shove this corner full of other materials as well as the other corner. But um, after all this time, that's one of the things that I personally have been kind of upset about. I also wouldn't have this all the way. I may have just put it, given it like a little cl clasp so I can put like a box in here. Uh, it did not need to be all the way, but dad kind of went a little nuts with it. You know, you tell a general contractor make this work and he really does. He did not want that to fall on me. Um, but considering how far that went in, all the things, um, I, I probably would have had it go on top of the the tire, because that is the top of the tire, not the top of the window lip. But, you know, oh well. I wanted the extra space for these tubs, which I do appreciate, 
but at the same time, I kind of really wish there was more space on top here after looking at it in hindsight and using it for a few years, but I'm still very happy with it and what it's being used for, how it's being used right now. But um, yeah, it's just personal, personal options, depending on how you want to store things. So uh, for anyone looking to build such a thing for their, for their Jeep or any, or any car, because it's, it's doable for any kind of vehicle, just really consider how you want to use your space, utilize your space as best as you can. So I have never had the chance to sleep in here, not yet anyways, and that's a good thing, but uh, yeah, there, there are many, many things that um, have changed over time. How about that? So thank you for enjoying my little, my little car tour, but uh, yeah. If anyone has questions, comments, concerns, leave them for me in the comments. I'll be happy to answer what I can. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.